Hey folks, welcome back to Forest River. So we finished up harvest, we got everything back here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and get things unloaded. So I had uh, the two wagons full, and then there was a tiny bit left in the combine that uh, I was able to just hover the auger of the combine over top of our auger here and uh, was able to dump it in so I didn't have to worry about uh, putting stuff in another truck for a couple bushels I think is about all it was so there we go alright so let's get uh, number one unloaded here and hopefully everything will fit but uh, we'll have to see as you can see we did uh, we do have a fair bit more money um, and no chisel no cultivator we ended up selling everything for about it was a little under uh, 40,000 I think so um, well it was 40,000 that we made in profit uh, we did make a little more than that but uh, we used some of that money to pay for the rent of the baler and uh, wagon and tractor so still came out pretty decent though oh boy it's gonna be close if uh, this wagon will fit okay well we're gonna have just a little bit left over. So we're gonna get this tractor moved out of the way. And we'll grab our John Deere here and uh, get this up to the auger. Okay, well, that is full now, and I'm sure there is uh, some in the auger still, so what we're going to do here is we'll get that unhooked. Let's get this guy brought down. I'm not 100% sure if there's still grain in the auger or not. I'm assuming not. But we're going to make sure of it okay perfect And we 
are going to get this pulled up out of the way. I keep forgetting that I have manual attaching in here. We're just going to back this in here alongside of the building again and just uh, leave it hooked up until uh, beans. Okay, let's go make a little bit of money. Because we are definitely not going to waste a bin on. 200 bushels not when we have uh, two other crops to sell or s store I should say and here is the uh, <clears throat> farm where we'll go to pick up that uh, baler from as soon as we get back from this the beans and corn are definitely uh, looking very nice. Should hopefully be a uh, good harvest on those as well. So we'll uh, roll up on here on the scale. Eighteen thousand eight sixteen or eight eighteen, sorry. So eighteen eight eighteen coming in. What kind of money we get out of this? I'm actually getting a pretty good chunk of money out of this here. Just about just about ten thousand dollars I think. Yeah. Eighty nine eighty eight. That's a uh, good chunk of money for that small little load there. But anyway, let's go weigh ourselves out and uh, get back to the farm. And then uh, we'll get in the pickup and run over to the neighbors and get that tractor and we'll start uh, some baling. So we were 18, 18 coming in. Fourteen ninety eight coming out. I'm sure that's not by any means anywhere near to uh, being accurate. Uh, 
Very nice looking beans and corn. Definitely uh, ready to jump into combining some more. Yeah, we'll take this back. I thought I was debating just leaving this in his yard, but we'll take this home and then just bring the pickup down. that guy sitting here and let's go get that uh, tractor and baler So there is the net wrap he was talking about. Uh, and there's the wagon. He said the tractor is sitting in here, so we'll just enter the code quick. All right. Nice uh, 6230R. And uh, we do got to fill the net wrap. So you're going to do just that here real quick. And then we'll head out. Perfect. Let's go uh, make some bales. start up here Not really expecting a huge amount of bales off of this, but hopefully we can make a few at least. That is annoying as can be. Oh, 
At least it doesn't go the entire time. So that is a plus there. This is the first time I've used this baler. Not a bad uh, little baler. It's pretty much the uh, same baler that I uh, first ever bailed with in real life. It was a 660 that we had. So when I saw this mod, figured I should download it. A little uh, nostalgia. I think that's the real word. I don't even honestly know, to be quite honest with you. Let's pick up this little bit here. Definitely not a bad little baler though. You can see uh, this getting added in in the uh, future if we end up uh, running cows in the future. Be a good, uh, be an excellent starter baler for us here. I'm just gonna skip a row because pretty sharp turn to make otherwise. He does have a pretty nice uh, tractor though for his baling tractor. Not a bad little uh, 6R. Definitely makes our uh, tractors look like a little toys. It'll get the job done. Okay. For a second there, I thought it was still trying to pick up straw, even though it was uh, full. But we're good, so. That makes four of them. So, so far, not bad. We are making big bales, so that does uh, play a part in that.
we get about a bale of windrow, that's not too bad. Couple of deer watching us work. Apparently can't decide where they want to go. Just about done with this one. Perfect. Two more rounds after this one, and we're on to the next one. Or two more wind rows, I should say. Not rounds, but... Take a look at uh, drops it pretty nice, especially with the uh, kicker arm there. That is one thing that was uh, in the store. It's actually an option to have the uh, bale kicker arm or not. I think when I was looking at it uh, on my testing save game, it uh, has about, I think it was three or four different uh, baler options. I think there's the 658, uh, I think there's like a 648, um, and then couple other balers all in this here pack that you can choose from in the store it's one store item and then you just choose which baler through the uh, optimizations or customizations I should say not optimizations but kind of neat I said it's kind of the first time I've really Full on used it, so. Alright. First field down. We made eight bales off of that one, so that's not too bad. Let's get this one bailed up.
Let's see if we can kind of dump this one out of the way here. We're going to come back and pick them up anyways right after. I was hoping that wasn't going to be the case. go get this one made not making that turn the way I wanted to. There we go. Sque squeeze past that bale there. Already got some weeds coming up in this field, I see. So we got another headland pass here to uh, get knocked out. I am curious here of what, how many bales this holds, 24 bales, okay. So we aren't uh, in danger of making too many to uh, 
fill it. Hopefully get at least one more bale out of here. Full bale, yet. And uh, he did say that if uh, we have to leave just a little bit in the baler, it's no big deal. He is uh, planning to use this on his straw after this, so if it's not enough to uh, go ahead and tie it, then let's perfectly fine with him. Alright. So, 13 full bales, and then we'll have a little bit on uh, this bale here, so. Oh, and we can actually unload it, so we're gonna unload this one right up in here. So that way we know to do this one last. Perfect. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for today, folks. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, as always, we'll see you all in the next one.